Hey guys, Bill, Competition Cars, good morning. So today we're gonna to go over this 1958 Cadillac Eldorado Brits convertible. And a little bit of history on the car. Um, there's a lot to talk about on this car, aside from it being stunning, beautiful, pretty much ready to go. Uh, the car came out of a collection from an attorney up in Long Island, and he had a uh, pretty large collection of these old Cadillacs. Now this car, I think he bought the car in the mid to late 80s from I don't know much about the history prior to that. You know, it's an old car. It's been through probably several owners over the years. But he anyway, bought it in the mid to late 80s, and he had it uh, restored by a guy by the name of Frank Nicodemus. And this Frank Nicodemus guy back in those days was the guy to go to to get your Cadillac restored. If you had a 50s or 60s Cadillac and you want it done right, that's who you went to. And there's actually, you can look it up online. I'm probably going to print it out and put some pictures of it. Uh, sometime, I don't remember when the article was from, maybe the 90s or the 2000s, but it was a New York Times article on this gentleman by the name of Frank Nicodemus who did the restoration on this car and just talked about how, um, you know, if you, had a, if you had a Cadillac you wanted restored, you bring it to this guy and he's going to produce a really nice car. So this car was actually restored in, we'll go back and look at the receipts, the early to mid 90s. And then it was properly stored after that in this guy's collection now the car is not without flaw there's going to be some things in the pictures i'll point out uh but you got to realize this you know it was done in 95 and it was driven some so there's a a little spot that's been touched up a, a, a rock chip or a nick very very minimal most of the bright work is extremely nice um if you look there's some pictures of the, of, of the front bumper there's a light 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 little hairline scuffs here from maybe just some grit or something that's been wiped and it, you know, not sure that'll come out. A little bit of discoloration in the, in the Cadillac V right here, minimal stuff. Uh, up under this front bumper is just, you know, some scuffs, a little bit of surface corrosion, very minimal. Uh, if you look up under the car, we'll double check, but right by the drain plug, it looks like there's some oil on the ground. Uh, we'll check the drain plug. I don't think it's a rear seal, but you, know, you got a little drip oil there. And also, it looks like over here on this side, a tiny drip. And this car has been in the showroom for a couple days now. It looks like maybe possibly power steering fluid or something like that. Minimal. But, you know, when you buy an old car like this, that's something to be expected. The paint is beautiful on this car. It's uh, Calcutta. I believe it's called Calcutta Yellow, I believe. But the car was born silver. It was a silver car to begin with. So there's a color change. Now we've got pictures we're gonna provide uh, of the restoration where this car is completely apart and, and redone. So today, this video is to focus on the exterior of the car, the bright work, the wheels, the tires, has brand new tires on it. Uh, we did a service, tightened up some of the stuff that tidied up some of the stuff that needed to be done. Um, there's a receipt for that. And then when we do the interior video under the hood and trunk, I'll talk about some of the items that work and don't work. But just a beautiful car, beautiful lines, uh, just so much style to it you know everything looks correct on the exterior of the car and like i said most of the bright work is, is in very impeccable condition top of the door handles there's a tiny little bit of sign of not pitting because it's smooth but those little speckles that it gets when the chrome starts to get some age on it same around this little piece of window trim here just minimal stuff Again, you got to realize this car was in the wrapper new in 1995, so it's got a little age on it, so it's a little older restoration. But the car has held up very well. And the things that I'm pointing out are things that if you take this to a car show or you're driving it out to a restaurant, nobody's going to notice that stuff. But in the interest of full disclosure, so you don't go, hey, Bill, why didn't you tell me about that little minor little scuff on the bumper? You know, or not really scuff, but the little imperfection of like a hairline scratch. I want you to know exactly what you're buying because you're not buying a number one car. There's a little spot here, and this car was painted in the 90s. One tiny little blemish right there. It looks like a little blister of some sort right there, okay? Um, a little bit of scuffing here on this one piece of molding. Yeah, I mean, if you want to make the car absolutely stunningly perfect, which you may or may not want to, then you're gonna do a few odds and ends. The wheels, caps are practically new. They look like there is some little minimal um, corrosion, surface corrosion in between the vent, the little, uh, vents here for whatever you want to call them a little tiny little bit of curb rash right there on the, on the edge so again little minimal things that you need to know about that that aren't you know perfect this piece of molding some light little spots 
in the in that piece. But in this one, and this one's crystal clear. This door handle's the same as the other side of the door handle. I love the hard boot that goes on the back. Top is in perfect shape. We'll do when we do the driving video. I'll have the top up so we can review the top as well. Uh, again, the back end of the car, the bumpers, what you see up top, look good and, and clear and very very presentable and respectable. If you get up under the car and look at the bottom, you know they're a little they're a little you know discoloration. There's a slight little scuff right here, very minimal. Come around this side so they can see. There you go. But again, you know, if if there's such a thing as a ten, this is probably an eight, eight and a half. You know, if you want to call a number one car perfection, this is a number two car. But very presentable. So let's wrap this up. Then we're going to raise the hood, open the doors, open the trunk, and we'll talk about the interior and what uh, what works and what doesn't work and. Uh, and if you have any questions, you're going to see this video on YouTube first. You'll see uh, uh, today is, I don't know, what is it, April the 20th. So it'll probably be live and on Bring a Trailer Up for Auction inside of a week. So ask any questions, any comments, in this, and put any comments in the, in the, in the uh, uh, comment section. Any questions in the comment section, I'll answer them quickly as possible. So thanks for looking, and good luck bidding, guys.